Okay, this is a quick overview of ProPresenter 5. Here we are in ProPresenter 5. This is the software that we use at my church. And so let me show you just a few quick things about it. First off, something that seems pretty clear to me is that ProPresenter 5 was written by someone who did the graphical presentation of lyrics and such at his or her church and was also a programmer as opposed to someone who is a programmer that thought they would help the people that use the computers to display graphics. So it feels a lot more intuitive to me than some of the other softwares out there. So let's just take a quick look at some of the functions here. Uh, beginning upper left hand corner, this is, uh, these are kind of your bail buttons. Uh, if you want to clear everything, you can clear all. If you want to clear the slides, and by slides they mean the text. If you want to clear the background, you can clear that. If you want to um, put a logo up, you can do that. You can create a new presentation here. And by presentation, they mean song or uh, set of sermon notes, that sort of thing, which that shows up down here. So this is the default one. I've actually messed with this, so this isn't exactly what it comes with. And then here's the new one. Okay, so this is a preview window which you can turn off or you can leave it on. And when there's video playing, whether it's a background video or a foreground video, you have transport controls at all times, and that's sometimes very handy. So here we have the library. It has all your songs that you would have in the library, uh, all the sermon notes, etc. Then down here we have the playlist. So right now we're in the default playlist and let's say I wanted to pull down these two elements. I can pull them down one after another and you'll notice as I click on them they take over the screen. Well, I can also use this contiguous button. What contiguous does is it, as soon as you finish one, it the next element is right below that. So that's very nice. As you're doing the presentation, you may not want to have this open. You might want more room here. Well, you could get a little bit more room here. But what I normally do is hit this button right here, which takes over the entire area. So this is more of a playback view than an ed editing view. Here we have the ability uh, to change the background. I can drag that onto a slide or I can just click it to change the background, whichever I need to do. I can do the same for the foreground. This foreground video I've already made that go away, but you can see that. You also see a little icon up here. Um, and here you don't. So that's something important for you to know that this icon means it plays it until it stops and without that icon that means it just keeps on looping just like this one does. If it's a moving video, which this one is, these are in fact stills. So that's why it doesn't have that. So you also have another mo mode and if you go into media properties here um, you can go here and the behavior is loop but it can also do palindrome that means it plays it forward then it plays it backwards then it plays it forwards then it plays it backwards and it keeps looping it like that that's good if you have a background that's it's abstract but it's it wasn't made so that it loops seamlessly and you don't want the jump. Palindrome is the way that you would go with that. And um, loop is what I normally use, especially for abstract backgrounds. You have the play rate, you've got audio volume, and you can tweak some of the settings in here. And also in here, so let's say I didn't want it to be green. I fact wanted it to be the exact opposite. Well that's really ugly. What I can do is I can tweak that and now it's this
purple and all. Uh, let's say that I want to do a color filter instead, and I want to make it, say, yellow. So I do yellow. Now I here. Let me reset all. Go to color filter yellow. There we go. So that's another thing you can do. You can tweak some of the settings in here, and that basically creates a new version of this. This is very helpful if the abstract background looks about right, except totally wrong color. No problem. You don't have to re-edit it or pull it into an editor. Just uh, use this feature. So back up to the top, we have this button, which is the editor, that allows you to edit the text. Then you have the video image button. You'll see at the bottom when I click that, that either shows or goes away depending on what's here. So during the service, I usually like to leave that gone unless I think that I might be changing on the fly. I have this audio playback, which is very nice. If I wanted to play a sound effect or a click track that didn't have video, something like that, I could do it from here. Messages, if you've used ProPresenter 3, you might recall that um, the messages and the countdown used to be down here. It's actually up here now. So, and this is a floating. I've made it move before. Huh, wonder why. Probably a different setting. Um, anyway, so I can add a countdown. Let's call that. So I add the countdown. Now I want to start the countdown and show it. And you'll see that it shows up here. Now I can have a different template here. So these are the default ones, but I also have this one right here. So I'm going to stop that, reload that all, show me message. And that's actually the same template I was using, so no big deal. So I'm going to Get out of that. Song select allows you to search for songs. Very helpful. Bibles, pretty self-explanatory. I don't have any Bibles installed. DVD, I can show clips from DVDs. Twitter is a nice little feature. I can actually search for things. So we're, we actually have a hashtag, and I assume that I'll see some. I think I'm remembering this right. If I if I'm not, then it's not going to work. Our current series has a hashtag, so I expect that I will see. Yes, I do. I see some. So what I could do is I could look through these, and I could, before the service, I can moderate them. And let's say I like this one, this one, and this one. Now I hit play, and it will play those tweets seven seconds each, down here, duration. So that's a cool little feature. And I have the transition that I could use. So if I wanted to do a dissolve instead, I absolutely could. So that's what's going on right there. OK, so that's a cool little feature. Format, that makes this bar show up. So again, during service, a lot of times I hide that. Timeline, this is a new feature that if you want these to change with audio, you can do that. Basically, you can make your own uh, music video doing that. Well, stills music video, but still pretty, pretty cool. I mean, you can animate text and all. Templates, these are the templates that you can create. You can turn that on or off. So here, I'm going to make that go away because I don't have an external monitor connected right now. Then volume changes the volume. Customize customizes this. I've actually already done that. And there was one of these that I wanted to get rid of. I can't remember which one it was, but that's how you do that. So that's a basic overview of ProPresenter 5. 
um, I'll record something a little bit later to show you some of the more in-depth features one at a time.